at that and you think about where did this actually start from? You're talking about these tapes, mm -hmm. whatever you want to, you know, the yes. tapes. Uh, <laughs> this hacking, you know, mm -hmm. that's not legal. Okay. So. But it was allowed. So the, the Ru in your opinion, was the Russians' motives to get Donald, Tr I mean, President Trump in because they knew that they can get more out of him than they could have ever got out of Hillary Clinton? Well, I, I, I believe that was in the making even before he started running. Explain it to me. You know, because there was a relationship already there. Okay. An economic relationship. And you know that's what runs this country. What type of effect do you? What type of effect do you think that's going to have on the United States of America? Since what you're saying may be a reality, what type of what is going to be the ripple effect? And how is it going to affect our economy and our way of life since it went down like this? I believe uh, at, at this point, if this is allowed to continue, the the the, the effect of our ec economy. And you know, <laughs> the rich man is already rich. Mm -hmm. We ain't even talked about <laughs> the poor man. He's out of the question. Yes. You're either rich or you're poor. <laughs> Not like President Bush, you either would us or against us. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what's happening with this you know, this, this backdoor politics. Okay. Now, you know, up, I, I forgot there's <laughs> one country, you know, where President Obama had put in something where they could not drill on tribal land. But President Trump is saying the H-E-L-L with that, we're going to drill. And right. there's, a, there's a lot of riots and protests that are going on. And what do you think about that? And what do you think about the, all the women that was marching against Trump, President Trump? Well. Any two time that you speak, you know, <laughs> women, women are powerful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let us men not, don't let us fail to realize that. You yeah. see, even though we made the head, but women have a lot of power. Yes. And once you make accusations, or once you belittle that woman that my Bible speak as she's as rubies mm -hmm. you see that virtuous woman yes uh, you, you you're speaking damnation yes you know and <laughs> you starting the war mm -hmm. <laughs> so you see it's warranted for it's warranted for those women to be out there protesting against oh, yes them. it is Yes, it right. is. Now, what about the people that's on the tribal land where it's the Trump administration that said, the heck with the Obama um, executive order. We're going to void that out, and we're still going across that land to, for, with our pipelines. What did, you, what did you think about that? In the well, if we, if we get down to it, and we, we talk about ethnicities, you know, the tri tribal people, man, they did a lot of work. They... they <laughs> A foundation was laid there, and then all of a sudden you're gonna come across and just wipe it out. You might as well say you're making that that group of people extinct. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of you because I see you got some power. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know <laughs> there's power in that wealth over in that land. Yeah, that's oh. rich land. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we, we, see how you you know it's. <laughs> Like you said, revelation. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? We got five minutes left, and I would I would like to ask you. You know, you mentor many, many, many children, but there may be a child that's lost. They may be being mistreated. I have a low self-esteem. Can you talk to them for a couple minutes? On underground railroad. Well, you see, this this is the point. You know, you say children are our future. And when you look at children, you know, innocent. Mm -hmm. Child is innocent. Yes. You know, my Bible tells me unless you come as a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. 
So what I'm saying when I get back to that is that, you know what? Here's a child, maybe he's out of, born out of wedlock, uh, however it might be. Yeah. And this is what's been happening through a lot of programs that have been cut out in these United States, yeah. where these programs were necessary. You know, where kids needed that. Kids that, uh, you know, we, we put them into foster homes. We put them into uh, places where, how can I gain self-esteem and, 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 and how can I gain a value within myself? Talk when I'm, to when I play, When I'm placed outside of humanity. Yes. I want to be just like Jane, able to go on the playground and play. I want to be like John. I want to be able to go in the gym and shoot the basketball. Yeah. I don't want to be excluded. And that's what's happening to our kids. We, we got a certain group, see, and that's always, I tell people, you know, as sure as there is Crayola, yeah. and I'm talking about, you know, you got colors, but you know, it takes all those colors to make that picture work. Yes. It takes all of those colors, all those kids, whether they're yellow, black, or white. Okay. It takes all those Any kids. Any special message to those kids? And I would say this, to, the, to the our kids. Don't quit. Yeah. Don't stop dreaming. And pursue those people that are in that village that will see you grow. Okay. You want to give information out about what church you go to? Uh, we address? Yes, I, I belong to uh, Southside Worship Center where our pastor is, Pastor Titus Lee. Uh, he, used, he, he was formerly our youth pastor, uh, but our pastor emeritus has moved on and now he's taken the place of senior pastor okay. at my church. Chicago, I want to, you know, first of all, say thank you for accepting the invitation. Thank you on. for inviting. And more than welcome. And I want to say yes. assalamu alaikum to everybody. You know, watch the Underground Railroad every Saturday night at 1030. But we come on YouTube seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And there are a lot of things that are going on in the world. And I want to thank my crew. Because you know what? I can't do it without them. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, crew. <laughs> Truths. The dreadful bitter truth. Your truth. And the Clifton Bradley Underground Railroad's truth. We as the media, mission, and duty is to make you aware of what's happening in our city, community. All aboard. All aboard, come on up Clifton, and beat, beat the drums.